Hello, I am Noura Smail, Neonatal Clinical Nurse Specialist. Today, inshallah, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to insert a nasogastric tube for a neonatal baby. If there is an indication for a nasogastric tube insertion, first of all, you have to explain the procedure to the parents if they are around. You have to prepare your supplies, which will be kidney basin, nasogastric tube. It depends on the tube. If the tube has marked, no need for a marker. Otherwise, you need the marker. Gloves, clean gloves. This is a clean procedure. We need deodorant to protect the baby's skin. Take a derm. Then you have to write the time and the date of the insertion. You can put it in a tape, then wrap it around the tube. Once you finish preparing your supplies, wash your hands. Put on gloves. Measure the length of the tube. Note the insertion length of the tube. It's 17 here. If you have uh, the other tube which doesn't have any marks, you have to mark the length with the marker. Insert the tube gently, slide it backward and inward. If you felt any resistance, don't force the tube. You can just take it back slightly and try in another direction or use the other nose strip. The position of the tube can be shaped by using two methods. First line method is testing the gastric aspirate with a pH indicator paper. The pH should be less than 5.5. The second line method is to confirm the place with x-ray. Then fix or secure the tube. First you have to put deodorant to protect the baby's skin from skin peeling. You have to note the date and time of the insertion. Just put it in a tape and wrap the tape around the tube. This is the end of our procedure. Now you have to remove your gloves and wash your hands. You have to document the procedure in the electronic patient record. Before ending this session, I want to emphasize on few points. First, although there are few methods have been widely used to confirm the position of the nasogastric tube placement in neonatal baby, the evidence shows that they are unreliable. One, auscultating of the air has which been injected in the tube, which we call it washing test. Two, interpreting the absence of respiratory distress. Three, testing the pH of the gastric aspirate by using blue litmus paper. For monitoring bubbling at the end of the tube. Second, which is very important, to check the position of the tube before each use. Now I have reached to the end of this nursing educational video on nasogastric tube insertion. I hope you have gained useful information. Thank you.